What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. Today I got a Mortal Kombat X news video for you guys. Before I get started, shout outs to Fusion X on Twitter. He was the one that informed me about this article. Uh, so if you guys want a shout out, feel free to send me you know, information on Twitter or YouTube, leave it in the comments, let me know there's some news because I'm just one guy so a bunch of news might pass me by and I don't notice it so you guys can help me out, just let me know, hey Uncaged, did you see about this article? And uh, I will try to reply to you guys. But let's get to it, this is from an IGN UK article where they sat down talking to the creative director of NetherRealm Studios, Ed Boon, and they talked about Mortal Kombat. And I wrote down some key points of the article. I'll put the article in the des uh, description of this video, so if you guys want to go read it for yourself, uh, go ahead. But I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, I'm going to read them off, the key points I found, and I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So, let's get started. The first thing uh, I'll read is, Boon explains regarding Mortal Kombat X storyline, there's a period that are directly after MK9, then there are periods that are 5, 10, 15, and 20 years out. A lot of the events take place 25 years after where we see older versions of the character, like Cassie Cage and all that. But it does jump around in time, it's not a linear thing. So we pretty much now know when we play the story, we're gonna play right after MK9, but then our character that we play as, let's just uh, for example Raiden. We're gonna play as Raiden after MK9, uh, and then it's gonna go maybe five years uh, in the future. So we can see what he looks like five years and what is happening five years later. And we go 10, 15, 20. So at least it has some type of a like uh, a pattern. It's not like oh it's gonna go five years, then six, then 18. So you know like weird numbers. At least it's going into a, like a five number interval and then apparently most of the events are gonna take place 25 years later which is uh, accurate I guess because Ed Boon says this game is gonna be taking place through a 25 year time span so I'm pretty sure they would be focusing a lot more on the 25th year of the time span the next point I found interesting was Mortal Kombat 9's story mode serves as a basis for how we'll watch events unfold in the new installment Though we should expect things to move around somewhat, though Boone wouldn't be easily drawn on specifics like Ed Boone always does, he never gives us the details, he gives us the rough, you know, information. Uh, he did admit the rise and fall of Kotal Khan and his uh, non-romantic relationship with Devora would both have roles to play. So, we get to see in the beginning, right after MK9, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see Kotal Khan, Devora, they're gonna be rising up, but they're not like the relationship, it says non-romantic, so I guess they're not going to be like a cat, um, a Sonya Blade, Johnny Cage kind of relationship. It's more of like, okay, I I trust you, so you're going to be working with me to conquer uh, Earthrealm. So that's pretty cool. Kodo Khan apparently is going to be one of the main bad guys in MKX, and you know, I kind of figured his last name is Khan. It probably runs in the family, Shao Khan, Kodo Khan. Every con, I don't know. So, Kodo Khan, Devora, they seem like they're gonna be a big threat. And if these two are kind of like the main bad guys, I'm pretty sure, uh, what is it, Ferator, the giant, like, uh, what is it, troll guy with the little girl on the, his shoulder, I guess he can be like the new Baraka, like the new, like, bodyguards. I don't know. It could work out. I can see that happening. But the next point I found interesting is. You'll still play the different chapters, and each chapter has a character where it follows their action. But instead of just jumping from one character to the next, it jumps in time as well. So all of this, all of a sudden, you may have a flashback, and you participate in those. But sometimes the story will just move forward five or ten years. So this means that we can play, like I explained earlier, we'll play as like Raiden one chapter, and then uh, that chapter, like chapter one, you play as Raiden. You play as him, and then in the present time, and then it'll go back flashback mode, and you might do a older fight, like maybe where Raiden fights uh, Shang Tsung in the past, and then we might jump into like 15 years in the future, or five years. So there's going to be a lot of time traveling, or a lot of uh, yeah time movement, which I think it could be a good thing. I just hope they don't do it like 
crazy amounts or the story will be so hard to follow. I'm probably gonna follow it pretty well, but I know some people will have troubles with like, oh wait, is this older? Is this newer? What's going on here? So uh, I like the concept, I just hope they don't overwhelm us with the time travel. Now this part of the information really intrigued me because this says, while Boone assures me that inclusion of characters like Cassie Cage in no way means her parents Johnny and Sonya won't be playable, as he reckoned interaction between the parent and their offspring is one of the most exciting possibilities of such wide time frames. The focus here is very much on new blood. So it says they're going to be focusing on the, like the, the offspring, so we're going to probably see more of Cassie Cage, if anything. Um, this does not say that Johnny and Sonya won't be in the game, but it did not say they will be in the game. I'm positive they're going to be in the game. If they're not playable, they're for sure going to be cameos in the story or something because they say the interaction between Cassie and Johnny and Sonya, we want to see how the family of the cage reacts, you know, uh, is do they get along well, do they hate each other, you know, what's happening. But that is pretty interesting news. I know some, a lot of you guys said, Oh, Johnny and Sonya won't be playable because we got Cassie Cage and Cassie Cage is like pretty much both of them combined. I know, guys. I know. I see her gameplay. I've seen her gameplay. But this, Ed Boon didn't say they won't be playable. They, they can still be in the game. So that was pretty interesting uh, little info there. But on to the next one. Alright, this one says, The last game we did in 2011 was a complete fan service title, so we really felt it was time to add a lot of new characters to the mix. He said, So yeah, a lot of old faces won't make the roster, but to us it was more important we did introduce new characters. We're probably introducing more in this game than any other Mortal Kombat title ever. So, a lot of characters won't be coming back in MKX. We already knew that because of the story of MK9. A lot of people are saying, oh, they're gonna come back. I know some of them are gonna come back because it's MK and they just can't kill off their best characters. So, I know some of them are gonna come back, but a lot of people did die in MK9, so most of those people won't be coming back. I guess it's gonna be evenly uh, balanced roster in MKX. It's gonna be like half old characters, half new characters. That's what I can see about that. Uh, there was a picture when Kano was, uh, or not picture, it was gameplay. When Kano's gameplay was revealed, the roster where you got to pick the characters, the top row, it, it's probably just coincidence, but the top row was all old characters, so it showed like Kano, Raiden, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and on the bottom was all the new characters, where it showed Kotokan, Devora, Fair Tor, and Cassie Cage. So maybe the whole bottom row would be new characters, the whole, uh, the whole top row would be old characters. I don't know, it probably won't mean anything because the roster is changing all the time. But I thought that was pretty interesting. So it could mean half will be old, half will be new, but we just gotta wait and see about that. Now this is the last information I found really interesting in this article. So this says, all's not lost in your favorites, doesn't make the cut. However, Boone promised the roster would, would be expanding with DLC post-launch, as well as revealed that yes, console specific exclusive fighters will again be back oh my goodness guys they're doing this again they're gonna be doing exclusive characters for consoles again why this is awesome I like it because we're getting exclusive characters so that means that character is probably gonna be a guest character um, but if they do this please now the realm studios I know you probably don't watch my videos but if you're gonna have exclusive characters for consoles please give them for both consoles if you're gonna make a console exclusive character for PlayStation give Xbox users something too I don't care if it's the worst character in the world at least give us a character because last game Mortal Kombat 9 PS uh, PlayStation users got uh, Kratos as an exclusive character Xbox got nothing we got Freddy Krueger, but PlayStation got Freddy Krueger also. So if they're gonna do exclusive con uh, exclusive characters for consoles, please, I beg you, give both consoles equal, you know, guest characters. Give them something. Don't leave one hanging, cause that's just that's just bad. Cause some people have Xboxes and they're like, oh, I want exclusive characters, 
and they don't get it. Or some people on PlayStation, PlayStation's like, oh, we have PlayStation, but we're not gonna get exclusive fighters. So just do everybody a favor, Nether Realm. I know it's probably uh, harder than it seems to be making characters, but please satisfy the fans. We love Mortal Kombat and we want characters for both consoles. All right. But that's pretty much all the information I thought that was interesting on this IGN article. If you guys want to read the full thing, link is in the description. And once again, shout outs to Fusion X on Twitter for sending me this article. If you guys want to have a shout out, uh, or you know, yeah, get a shout out on one of my videos, feel free to send me some information about Mortal Kombat. If you guys find anything that I have not covered yet, uh, send it on Twitter. That's where I get pretty much all my um, messages. So I will check that pretty much all the time. So if you guys send it on Twitter, I'll be sure to reply to you guys, unless you spam me like crazy. Uh, you can also, you know, send me on a message on YouTube or leave a comment on my video. But that would probably be like the less likely thing that I see because I get comments like crazy. So yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, comment down below, and let me know what was the most interesting thing on this list that I read, or if you guys read the article yourself. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys found most interesting on this news that we have heard from Ed Boon. But if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe for more Mortal Kombat X videos. My name's Uncaged Games, and you just got cage. Holy, oh, oh, I remember this one. Oh, did you see my head? It like shrank and then like, I got a mini head.